I'm your host, Danielle Williams, for Everybody Has a Story. And tonight, I'm here in beautiful downtown Phoenix at the Herberger Theater for the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Fest 2, featuring three of our local up-and-coming comedians on a big scale. We've got headliner Faze on Love, and we also got Reginald Ballard. You know him, rum man from the TV hit series, Martin. We also have our locals who are gonna be giving the audience more than we've ever seen, and we will be cheering them on. I'm talking about comedian Fred Witte. I'm talking about funny man t Rail and the one and only Marlon Taylor. You're in for a real treat. The show's about ready to start, and they've got something to say, because after all, everybody has a story. All right, I'm inside the Herberger Theater with one of our local favorites. It's comedian Fred Witte, going to be taking the stage tonight. How you doing tonight, Fred? I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I'm looking to have on a great show and, and see a great show with all the other comedians. No, you've earned this. You should be excited. So tell me this. How did you feel the first time you saw your commercial on BET? A little bit like a, a band where they hear their song on the radio for the first time. That, I guess that's the closest thing you could. You know, I was really excited. Um, called my mom. You know. Yeah, that's cool. You're on a big platform tonight, and you have a lot of local yeah. supporters who are coming out to the show tonight. So what do you want to say to them? Um, I, just, I thank them. I can't thank them enough. Um, I couldn't really be where I'm at right now without them. Like, they've pushed me along, they've encouraged me, and I, I can't thank them enough. Because this is new. Because you've only been doing comedy how long? About a year and two months. And look how far you've already come. It's pretty amazing to me. Like, yeah. It's unbelievable to me, really. I tell you, he's going to be doing his thing tonight. Fred Witty. My name is Fred Witty. <laughs> and you're watching Everybody Has a Story. All right, joining me now is one of my personal favorites. I've enjoyed every time I see this man on stage. We're talking about Marlon Taylor, AKA Marlon DeGrave. Welcome to the show tonight. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Now Marlon, you have been doing your thing for a while. How long have you been doing comedy? A little under two years. See, and look how far you've come, right? Yeah, it's just it's a constant grind, you know, dedication. You gotta really want it. Because it can get discouraging at times, you know, but as long as you get a kick out of making people laugh and the response that you get from people, just continue to go with it. And you've been making a lot of people laugh and a lot of people are going to be coming out tonight to see you. So I want to know, how do you handle the groupies? Because I know you got some. I don't. My wife do. Oh, your wife do. <laughs> there you go. I got personal uh, groupie patrol. So. I'm mad at that. But, you know, it's, um, it all comes in with, with the territory. You know, she understands. It's, uh, you know, fans come in many different varieties and, and they come in many different reasons so you just look out for them you know, and you're and take it for what it is and you're looking at the long haul in this comedy um workshop i like to call it because like you said you're under two years you've been grinding at it right. so when you get that call because i know you're going to make it because i've seen your shows and you are good I'm when you get that call from hbo to do your one hour special who would be on your comedy lineup Who's your dream team? Like a live or pass? I can do past and present? Yeah, give us something. The one um, that you're with. Um, Dick Gregory. Okay. Um, Richard Pryor. Yeah. Martin Lawrence. And, um, man, you kind of put me on the spot with this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, dig it deep. I'm dig it deep. With, um, I'm going to go with Red Fox. Oh, good. Those are nice choices. Now that's one show I would not want to miss. And tonight, I'm looking forward to you doing your thing. Thank Do you, you have any superstitions? Like, I mean, please don't tell me you work seven day old draws. No, I just, um, what you doing? I just get quiet. You know, I just kind of zone out, you know, and um, just go over things in my head, visualize my set. Just want a piece of quiet. You just kind of meditate, meditate, give yourself a moment. Get ready. Well, he's going to take all the time he needs because he'll be hitting the stage shortly. This is Marlon great. And if you haven't seen him, you are missing out. She said it first. This is Marlon the Great. We live. It's going to be crazy tonight. Face on Love with Scrunch Over, man from Martin. My boy Fred Witty. My boy comedian T Rail. We're doing it here for the locals here in Phoenix. Make sure you come check us out. Make sure you also check out what you're watching. This everybody has a story. I got a story. You got a story. Everybody got a story. All right, last but not least, here we go with comedian T-Rail. Now, this guy is absolutely ridiculous when he is on stage. T-Rail, I consider you to be like a physical comedian. How would you describe your comedy for someone who's never seen you? Ooh, I, my style of comedy is more, more action. You get more like a concert with mm -hmm. the comedy, you know what I mean? 
of course you know I do the voice impressions. Right. Like that. I do the Obama. Everybody want me to do the Obama every time I hit the stage. Mm -hmm. um, numerous things, the outfits that I wear. Oh, and there's some outfits. Oh, yeah, Coach oh, Cletus. Yeah. Coach Cletus is yes. the number one character that everybody want me to use. And um, I think it's phenomenal, man. I mean, I'm just excited. You know? Are you going to do anything with some surprises tonight, or are you going to stick to some of the old favorites? I'm going to stick to the old favorites. Okay. You know, because... I wanted to, but I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just stick to the old school, original, hardcore right. comedy. You what know, everybody like, likes, what everybody's comfortable with, yeah. what everybody's going to laugh at. They right? better. They better. No, they're going <laughs> to laugh. Now, tell me this. A lot of comedians, they have like things that they sell at their show. What would be on your t-shirt if you were going to sell a hot t-shirt? I want something original and creative. What would you put on a t-shirt? I would put party naked. Party naked. That yeah, sums him up in one party naked. Oh, yeah, because you know, I mean, 90% of my outfits come from being half naked anyway. I know. Booty shorts. <laughs> booty shorts. I've seen your show. You're yeah, crazy. Yeah, exactly. You're crazy. <laughs> All right, so how did you feel the first time you saw your commercial on BET? Oh, my God. Oh, I felt like a kid on Christmas. Yeah. I felt like a kid on Christmas. Uh, you know, there were so many emotions that was running through my mind. And big shout out to BET as well. Uh, big shout out to y'all. I love y'all for that. Um, but they did an excellent job. I mean, I got so many phone calls. Everybody, I saw you on BET. I'm like, uh, it's supposed to. Hopefully y'all, yeah. you know. But it's at a the same feeling, yeah, right? it, it is. It's yeah. a good feeling. But at the same time, um, to see it, I wanted to watch it over and over again. I was watching BET. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was watching BET. That's what you're supposed to do. This is a big platform for our local comedians. This is going to be a hot show. If you're not here, you are missing out. T-Braille, I wish you nothing but the best tonight. Yes. Do your thing and just have fun. You know it. Well, uh, you're watching. Everybody has a story. Uh, get on down there. Come down to our shows. You're going to love it. Thank you and thank you. Let me tell you, my side is still hurting. If you missed this show, you missed a good one. Don't worry, we'll have video on Facebook, and you can always check our website, everybodyhasastory.me. That's going to do it for me. I'm your host, Danielle Williams. I'll catch you next time. Go, Key. Everybody has a story. Heard it here first, and we out.